Hello back everyone, this is Jim from Jim Shape Coding and on this tutorial, as I promised in the previous one, we are going to start writing our first program. So I already opened my PyCharm and this is the window you should get if you just install the PyCharm together with me. And what I'm going to ask you to do now is just creating a new folder wherever you want an empty folder that this would be in purposes for my tutorials and practices. So after you've done that, click to the open button below instead of create project and any other option here, click the open and refer to that folder that you opened. So I already opened in C Python and my folder is going to be tutorial and once you mark that folder click OK and PyCharm will you lead you inside to do your IDE and let's see what is going on here. Let's just close this. So once you reach that part you are ready to create your first Python file so click the right button here on your mouse and choose new Python file. Once you've done that type in hello world as the name of the Python file and you're ready to go. Now one last step you have to do is to connect between your IDE and the Python you installed in the previous video. So remember how we said that you have in order to execute Python code you have to have this IDE to accomplish this task. So now we want to connect between the Python that installed on our computer between the IDE. So what I want to do now is click file here and choose the settings and go inside the project colon tutorial and select the Python interpreter and make sure that this is what you see as your directory. So see users and your username on your Windows machine and make sure that this folder name is named 38-32 like I have. If you don't have this one, so click the drop down there and select it. And if you don't still don't have here, then maybe something with the installation of Python went wrong and comment below that so I can help you. Now once you select that, click apply and OK. And now you are ready to go. So we want to type a program that is going to type us hello world. Now imagine that you are in a car and your car has some features that is already built in when it comes to you. For instance, the gas pedal which is responsible to drive your car or the brakes pedal which is built in feature that responsible to stop your car. And as the car has some built in features, so does the Python and we are going to learn a bunch of built in functions when we are using Python. And the first one we are going to learn is called print. Now the print is the, the most common built-in function in Python and its job is to write us back whatever we want. So the use of built-in functions is just typing their name and do, let's start with typing their name and as you see the IDE which is the PyCharm completes me already. To specify what we want this function to print, we have to open up a regular parenthesis here and between the parentheses we will also add quotes. It doesn't matter for now if it is single quotes or double quotes. So once you click that, the IDE as you see will automatically will add two for you. So one for opening and one for the closing. And we just want to write here hello world like this. So once you've done that we are ready to execute this file and the way you can execute a file is just clicking clicking your right click on the tab right there and select the run option and let's see what happens now. Great so 
in the bottom side of our IDE, we have all the results of our RAN program. So if we are going to print something, we are probably going to see that on the bottom section, which is responsible to output whatever we printed. So as you see, we see our hello world executed well and printed. So congratulations, you are just made your first Python program. And from here, we are going to grow and you are going to learn more built-in functions and more methods so we can write more complex programs. And this is enough for now, so we are going to stop and please comment below any questions and whatever you want to ask i will answer you and also don't forget to like and subscribe this channel and i really hope to see you in the next episode so see you in the next one